morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. It's me again, Jamie Franco, and welcome to another Facebook Live in TGFI page. So before anything else, kabusta naman po ang lahat. I hope everyone is safe and sound. San po kayo banda sa Pilipinas ngayon? San kayo banda sa ibang parte ng mundo? Sana talaga matapos na itong pandemic na ito. No? Kasi masyado na nahahasal ang mga tao at nakakatakot na rin talaga. So um, before anything else, no? Um, Comment naman kayo kung kung kayo ay ready na at naririnig kami ng maayos para naman hindi masayang ang oras nyo, nagnaglalaglag pala kami, sayang ang oras ng kakahintay at kakakinig. Alright, so let us know para naman maayos namin itong live na to and mag-run siya smoothly. Alright, so our topic is about technology. Technology has done the world a great deed. We take it for granted, but it never complains. It's only there to serve. But perhaps in a time of a virus outbreak and lockdowns, taking it for granted might have not been the best move. So virus, no virus, there are already available technologies that should have been widely implemented. One of them is cashless payment, or better known as e-wallets. I know lahat naman tayo familiar na dyan. Pero ano nga ba yun? It's actually a form of transaction where you'll just need to tap your phone or uh, or scan a QR code to make payments. The money will be deducted directly from your bank account or from your e-wallet's uh, balance. So it's very efficient and just requires a phone to do. But yet many vendors, business owners, and consumers are oblivious to its benefits. Actually, this uh, dapat na maximize natin tong ganitong type of technology because of, of course, the social distancing na pinapatupad and the lockdown. Diba? Ito na yung pinakatakot tayo ngayon, yung, yung magkaroon tayo ng contact <laughs> sa ibang tao kasi nakakatakot mahawa. So this, uh, this kind of technology is very useful for us nowadays. So um, that's why this topic is very useful to us, especially nowadays nga, ayun nga, na lockdown, pinapatabi social distancing, right? So before anything else, please don't forget to share this live and also ready your questions na pwedeng sagutin na ating speaker for today. So are you guys ready? Parang wait lang, check natin kung sino na ang meron. So we have Jerwin Martinez and Magal Anclote from Rizal area. We have Jerwin Martinez from Alabang. So, marami pa tayo. Yes po, medyo naglalag ang video natin ngayon because of the internet connection. Lagi natin kalaban ng internet connection. So, um, but I think, I believe the audio is good. So, I think we can start naman na. So, to talk about the power of e-wallet or how payments can adjust to the coronavirus pandemic, please welcome Paymaya's enterprise lead, lead for the government sector, Ms. J. Ayartis. Hi, ma'am. Good Hi. afternoon. Hi. Yes, good evening, good morning, good afternoon sa ating mga ka-TGFI and TGFI family and friends. Thank you for having Paymaya um, in this webinar tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So very, ano ha, very interesting tong topic natin today and we believe na talagang masasagot yung po lahat ng katanungan namin regarding dito sa topic na to. But before anything else, I have one question or first question for today. Um, what do you think are the challenges of Filipinos in terms of managing their finances, especially during the ECQ? All right. Um, that's a really uh, relevant question right now. Ano? Mm -hmm. Alam mo, um, Jamie, because of the... COVID-19 pandemic, the ECQ, it's actually very challenging, not just for us, mm -hmm. it's actually challenging for everybody because it's something that yeah. um, we haven't experienced. Pero, yeah. alam mo, tiwala din naman kasi ako sa Pinoy. Ang Pinoy kasi, mm -hmm. resilient, maparaan, madiskarte yan. So, gagawa at yeah. gagawa ng paraan yan kahit na challenging yung times na in-experience natin ngayon. Um, mm -hmm. But to mm -hmm. answer your, but to get to your um to get to your question, ano, I think one of the challenges that we're currently experiencing right now in terms of um, managing the finances is particularly for money flow. Money flow because, mm -hmm. ano, diba, because of the ECQ, um, the ECQ has actually restricted movement. Eh. So, meron kang limited yung operational hours mo and yung transportation mm -hmm. options. Mo. So, your access to the traditional financial services is very, um, very slim. Um, yes. 
okay. some of our some of our um uh, some of the Pinoy's that right now are currently experiencing no work no pay and yeah. we actually received reports from our smart padala agents na may mga Pinoy tayo may mga kababayan tayo na na-stuck dito sa Manila tapos hindi na sila makalabas, gawa nga na na-lockdown na sila, and they're asking their relatives um to actually send them money for for necessities. Mm-hmm. So, because your money flow is, um your money flow is currently restricted or very limited, of course, you also have encounter challenges in terms of um budgeting, di ba? Kasi, yeah, yeah. Kaya, no work, no pay, you have very little access to financial um, services. So, yung mobility mo, very limited. So, kailangan mo ngayon i-budget yung pera mo according to your expenses. Di ba? Uh, 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 so, uh, 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 prioritize. So, minsan lalab ako. Personally, I would go out. Pero pag lalabas ako, uunahin ko na yung mga talagang kailangan ko. Yung mga necessities yes, ko. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. So, until such time that we normalize or we get back to the new normal, yung budget mo ngayon is nirarasyon mo. Pati yung, yung supplies mo pansamantala. Yes. Um, and kahit na so even after that so you budget yung yung budget mo you prioritize your necessities uh nirarasyon mo siya para you make sure that um it will be stretched um as long as there is ECQ and some of the companies right now you, uh, like utility companies and other companies have actually implemented payment holiday ano So yung payment holiday na yon, kahit na payment holiday na siya ngayon, kailangan isipin din natin yung eventual na expenses natin. Sana pag na-lift na yung ito, yeah. di ba? So ayun na, ano yung mga bayarin natin? Sunod-sunod so, na, yes. Sunod na. Bayad dito, bayad dyan. Kasi kailangan mm-hmm. mong i-update yung mga babayaran mo. So on top of being able to prioritize your necessities, you also have to think about mm-hmm those eventual expenses. So, you have to be aware and mindful of the finances. Mm-hmm. And Paymaya can actually help you track your expenses and overall kind of like manage your finances. Mm-hmm. And I think po, one thing din siguro na tip natin para sa mga KTJFI, sa mga viewers natin, is of course to prepare for uh, an emergency fund. So, Correct. the emergency fund, just to give you a, ano, a background about it, um, Ayun yung six times na expenses mo every month. So, para hindi na rin tayo nag, nagkakaroon ng, I mean, hindi na natin iisipin yung mga susunod na buwan kung paano tayo makakasurvive. Kasi right now talaga, ayun yung isa sa mga reason ng tao kung bakit para sa kanilang hirap-hirap ng buhay during this quarantine. Kasi nga, ayun nga po, no work, no pay. So, it is really um, important to manage your finances and of course, budget your um, Finances as well. So, before we start po, or before I ask the second question, we have here, wow, mama, parang ang dami niyong fans, ang daming nag-hi sa inyo. And from Noel Santiago, hi, Jay daw po. And from Magal Anclote, he's a Paymaya user here. So, maramit po tayong nanonood na Paymaya user. And, um, we have Marvin Santos as well. And, uh... Ayun, sabi ni Cielo Blanco Nunes, I love Paymaya, super useful and convenient, especially during the ECQ. So, mas malalaman pa natin ano pa yung mga imp- yung importance ng, ng Paymaya ngayon no? during this quarantine as we continue our second question. So, ma second question, how do you think mobile payment apps like ayun nga, Paymaya can help address this um, challenges of Filipinos nga, in terms of managing their finances? Alright, so I want to thank our viewers and letting us know mm-hmm. that they are a Paymaya user. Maraming salamat yeah. sa pagtangkilik nyo sa Paymaya. Um, mm-hmm. To answer your question, you mentioned how can we actually um, help address yung challenges that we're currently experiencing right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Paymaya being a mobile payment app is actually the easiest and the fastest mm-hmm. way um, for you to continue transacting, especially now that there's ECQ. So, Remember mm-hmm. nung nag-start yung ECQ natin in March, um, napansin mm-hmm. namin that there is actually an increase um, number of uh, transactions, particularly sa mga online stores that cater or offer basic necessities such as yung mga gamot, groceries, mm-hmm. and pagkain. Mm-hmm. 
And syempre, when you have a mobile payment account, it's easy for you to avail these services eh, or these goods. And another thing that we kind of like noticed is that there is an increasing amount of people that actually sends money to others, friends, mm-hmm. family, mm-hmm. Um, empleyado nila through the Paymaya app or um, through the mm-hmm. Smart Padala. And we mm-hmm. kind of like at one of the reasons why we think that is is because it's again it's easy to set up an account from um for uh it's easy to set up for a paymaya account and mm-hmm. and not only that um claiming money remittance through our 30,000 smart padala centers nationwide it it gives you a sense of funds para matunan mo yung pangangailangan mo um, so we get to see those things but um, we also get to observe that the government has been consistent in terms of pagpo-provide ng mga financial aid, especially dun mm-hmm. sa mga low-income workers natin. Yes, in yes. So, mm-hmm. um, some agencies have actually tapped Paymaya and Smart Padala to help them be able to distribute cash aid. So, just mm-hmm. to give you an example, ano, Jamie, um, right businesses can actually receive yung financial aid galing sa social security system or what we call SSS. Gamit ang kanilang, mm-hmm. ang kanilang Paymaya account. Ito yung part ng program ng SSS called Small um, Business Wage Subsidy Program. And another example would be yung mga lolo at lola natin sa city ng Manila. Nakatanggap sila actually mm-hmm. ng tulong galing sa local government. At nakredit mm-hmm. yun sa mga cards nila. And you know what's actually good about this um, experience is that the cards for our senior citizens were actually um, uh, distributed bago pa magkaroon ng ECQ. And it was mm-hmm. just actually shared with me that even our students in Caloocan City, nakatanggap din sila ng financial assistance. Gamit wow! So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Itong, this crisis, this pandemic and the crisis that we're currently experiencing right now it actually has highlighted yung importance at urgency of of a financial account para sa isang mm-hmm. pinoy para, para tuloy-tuloy silang makapag-transact at makatanggap sila yes, ng, yes. ng tulong in this type um in this challenging time so this is mm-hmm. where payment can come in because we offer the easiest and the fastest way para magkaroon ng bawat pinoy ng isang financial mm-hmm. account Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you for that, Miss uh, Miss J. Ang sabi nga ni Ian Katipunan, the launch of Smart Padala through Pimaya is really convenient, most especially right now that limited stores are open for this type of transaction. So, ang laking tulong din po talaga nito, no? And, um, ako, sorry, meron po tanong si Eds Baloha, pero mamaya na po. So... <laughs> Diyan lang po muna kayo. Alam ko marami kayong gustong itanong, okay? Basta ilagay niyo lang dyan sa comment. Babasahin natin lahat yan. Okay. So, ito naman, um, Ms. J, actually, ito, ano din ako, medyo naguguluhan doon ako. Can you, can you explain to us the difference between um, mobile payment apps and the online banking apps? Okay. That's an interesting question, Jamie. Um, mm-hmm. Sige, bago tayo magpunta siguro dun sa difference, let's all mm-hmm. let's talk about um, what similarities do we have, di ba? So, meron kang online banking app, mm-hmm. meron kang yeah. PayMaya. Yeah. So, in terms of mm-hmm. functionality, halos parehas eh, to be honest. There's the, you can send money, pwede kang magbayad ng mm-hmm. bills, pwede kang bumili ng load. Pero ang isang differentiating factor namin talaga why we stand out is the accessibility. Again, I cannot stress this enough. We offer the mm-hmm. easiest, the fastest, and the most convenient way for, for, for a person to be able to open an account. So to give you better appreciation, so ang kailangan mo lang, na-download mo lang yung app. Pagka-download mo, lagay ka ng, I think, four details lang siya. Siguro mobile number mo, mm-hmm. yung email address, full name, and yung magna-nominate ka ng password. Wala pang five minutes, mm-hmm. may account ka na, di ba? Wow! So, oh, so... May parang starter account ka na na pwede ka nang gumawa ng mga basic transactions such as pay bills, mm-hmm. tapos makakapagbayad ka na ng mga items mo using the Paymaya yeah, PR. Actually, according dito sa isang comment section, ma'am, nakakapagbayad daw siya ng BIR at SSS niya using yeah. Paymaya. Which is very, ano, ang ganda, ang ganda ng feature. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so Paymaya is actually um one of the leading and preferred partners of the government because we've actually made it easy for 
for every Filipino to pay their bills, mm-hmm. keep them keep their accounts updated. So so mm-hmm. once you get to download and register, we do encourage all of our users to upgrade your account. Why why do we suggest that? Because when you get to upgrade your account, you will be able to um, unlock more functionality. So all you need to mm-hmm. do is to submit a little bit more of information about yourself and submit an ID. Um, mm-hmm. So you can you can transact more than just pay bills and pay mm-hmm. through your QR. Um, you can actually send money. Pwede kang mag-shop online. Pwede kang makatanggap ng remittance galing abroad. Pwede mm-hmm. ka pang mas mag- Tapos yung limit mo, mas mataas. Right now, it's currently set at 200,000 hanggang May 31. So, syempre, when you have this, um, when you have your account, meron ka rin mga perks. Yun, yun yung isang bagay na, na I don't, I'm not sure if you get to see that with other online banking apps. So, you also get to have load discount. So, pag nag-load ka sa amin, kung 100 pesos yung ilo-load mo, I think parang 94 pesos, 95 pesos na lang. Um, so, may discount ka kaagad. When you get to use your PayMaya for transactions, uh, you get your cashbacks or what we call now as um, balik bayad. So, mm-hmm. all in all, the overall experience is so much better than any other mode of payment, including no cash. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, may mga questions po. <laughs> dami talaga sila questions. Natutuwa ako. Sige. So, ma'am, baka mga mag-two hours tayo dito. Okay lang. <laughs> <laughs> the max, the maximum is one hour, pero baka mag-extend pa tayo additional hour. Anyway, um, ayun po, um, kasi ngayon, um, isa sa mga naapektuhan ng coronavirus or ng ECQ, actually lahat eh, pero isa sa mga pinaka-apektado bukod sa mga empleyado is yung mga employer, yung mga businessman, and mga, ayun, yung mga negosyante nating mga kababayan. So, how can mobile payment apps like PayMaya help entrepreneurs grow their business? Hmm. Okay, so kanina we kind of like mentioned how we get to help the consumer part. Actually, you know what, Jamie? Um, PayMaya is actually very unique in the market today kasi we get to offer yung comprehensive na payment experience. Hindi lang siya para sa consumer na, na nagbabayad, para din po sa mga entrepreneurs at business owners natin. So, uh-huh. meron kaming mga end-to-end solutions that can actually cater to different types of entrepreneurs or different types of businesses. So, right now, if we're gonna parang relate this to what is currently happening ngayon, na naka-ECQ tayo, syempre, di ba? Um, uh-huh. It's hard to go outside. I would prefer to buy things off online, right? So, may mga uh-huh. online sellers tayo, may mga social media platforms sila na ginagamit nila which they used to sell. And they can actually use their own PayMaya account <clears throat> and receive mm-hmm. um, up to 100,000 a month from customers who are actually PayMaya users just by mm-hmm. sending them their mobile number or scan their QR. Ganun mm-hmm. lang siya. Mm-hmm. And more to that, um, kung ang isang uh, negosyante ay may sari-sari store or grocery, pwede kami mm-hmm. makatulong na makapagdagdag ng kita sa kanya by onboarding them as a smart padala center. So, the minute that mm-hmm. they become a smart padala center or agent, makakapag-process sila ngayon ng remittances, bills payment, mm-hmm. okay. process sila ng load, makakabenta sila ng load, and they can even process yung mga QR payments nila. Um, interesting, also, interesting. Yeah, so, so we don't just help consumers gain a financial account, we also get to help um, entrepreneurs uh, like yung mga sari-sari stores nga to mm-hmm. augment yung income nila. But we don't stop mm-hmm. there um, because we cater to all types of um, all types of um, business categories. We have this solution um, that that is very timely right now for small and medium businesses. So di ba napapansin mo may mga establishments na sometimes operational pa rin sila kahit ECQ. And this is mm-hmm. relevant right now kasi this um, small, medium enterprises or businesses can actually receive payments via the QR. And mm-hmm. ngayon, mas malaki ang push ngayon na may ECQ because you don't want to be in contact because the minute that you pay in cash, that's, you know, potential contact already for yeah. you to, with the virus, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. may push ngayon for contactless payment and our QR is um, a very good um, solution for that because all you need to do is just to scan the QR standy. So, mm-hmm. scan mo lang sana if you're paid. But, 
we also have um, um, solutions naman for our more tech savvy uh, tech savvy um, entrepreneurs so there's mm-hmm. two kinds. so so for those na wants you need to send an invoice yung medyo mas ano na medyo mas parang kailangan na ng ini invoice ka na ganyan so may facility kami called um Paymaya email invoicing so yung invoicing na yon what it does is that um it sends an invoice to your customer via email so kung ako si customer nat matatanggap ko yung invoice na yon tapos pag open ko ng in- email mo ando doon yung invoice ko may link ka agad yon where it will route me to payment so makakapagbayad ako gamit yung credit, debit or prepaid card ko or a Paymaya account. So mm-hmm, paano mm-hmm. kung may online site, 'di ba? Minsan pag sa IG, 'di ba, meron sila yung pag pinlik mo yung bio, may online site siya. Yes, actually, yes. So 'di ba, we can actually enable them for a checkout solution. So add to cart, add to cart, checkout. So pag checkout mo ngayon, pwede ka na makatanggap ng payment using um a Visa, a Mastercard, a JCB or even a Paymaya card. And what mm-hmm. is good about having um, online payments or enabling you to have online payment or accept payments is that the purchase decision becomes quicker. So, mm-hmm. na-expand mo din yung reach mo to market online. Eh, di ba malaki ang, ang reach mo online? Yes. So, yes. so that's mm-hmm. one of the, the things that we, um, we, how we can help the business owners. So, we talked about the online payments. Ano naman yung may mga physical store, di ba? So, mm-hmm. Jamie, I think you've been, have you been to McDo before ng ECQ? Yes, nami-miss ko na nga po actually. <laughs> nami-miss ko na ang McDo actually. Di ba? So, pag nagpunta ka sa McDo, may self-ordering kiosk siya. And order, order, order. Pagdating mo dun sa baba, may maliit na terminal doon na kulay puti. That's our yes. pay mayo and Paymaya One is actually the first device, smart Android device that was launched in the country that can enable a physical store to accept payments. So, yeah, I've seen that. that uh, card mm-hmm. and QR yeah. payments. So, mm-hmm. so ngayon, ngayon na may ECQ, nagulat talaga kami kasi dagsa yung merchant applications namin na natatanggap namin because the ECQ has actually caused the merchants to shift from cash payments to mm-hmm. alternative payment channels para yeah. mag-continue. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I guess, parang we have the solutions right now and these are the ways of how we can help our um, mm-hmm. entrepreneurs and business owners. Okay, thanks for that, ma'am. So, um, since you've been discussing a lot about the features of Paymaya, can you tell us more about it? about Paymaya. Oh, dami. <laughs> so, okay. So, <laughs> Ma'am, pwede tayo mag-extend, don't worry. Because <laughs> baka, baka, baka maubusan ako ng oras kakakwento. But Paymaya, <laughs> again, uulitin ko na naman, ito, ano na namin to, lagi namin sinasabi na Paymaya is the fastest and easiest way for you to have a financial account. Ang kailangan mo lang mm-hmm. is yung smartphone mo saka yung mobile number mo. So, Kapag nag-sign up ka, yung how I I called it earlier, kind of like a starter account na you input three, four details, and then you nominate mm-hmm. a password, mm-hmm. you'll be able to pay your bills, buy airtime load, use that for pay my QR payments, and actually add money up to 50,000 pesos. But when you get to upgrade, and we encourage our users to actually upgrade, you will be able to send money to other PayMaya users. You will be able mm-hmm. to send money to a Padala Center. You will be able to do bank transfers also. You will be able to shop online. And mm-hmm. one of the good mm-hmm. things is that you will be able to receive um, remittances from Western Union and actually withdraw funds from any ATM in the country. So during the Very season, convenient. Yeah, totoo yun. Actually, you're right. It's actually more convenient right now to have an upgraded account. Kasi kagaya ngayon na ECQ, so with the partnerships that we've had, we have right now, especially with SSS, dun kasi pinapadala, dun kasi kinikredit uh-uh. yung, yung financial assistance na, na matatanggap ng isang, ng isang Pinoy. So Paymaya right now is actually the most re- rewarding na e-wallet. So yung cashless experience na meron ka with Paymaya is better than cash with added perks pa. So, gamitin mm-hmm. mo siya, na incentivize ka pa with using it. So, gamitin mm-hmm. mo siya, mm-hmm. 
ka, may cash ka. And mm-hmm. um, every now and then, we get to have our promos also. So right mm-hmm. now, there are a lot of features that you can do inside the app. But I know there's very limited time also. I don't want to, I uh, know, I don't want to keep on talking. <laughs> But there are a lot of features that you can actually um, do within the Paymaya app. And we're adding more to that every day. So I encourage everyone. So if you want to learn more about what you can do with the Paymaya app, just um, visit paymaya.com slash quick dash guide. All right. Sige, ma'am, actually, um, na, na, ano nyo naman na po, na discuss nyo about the incentives. So, you mentioned about this, uh, incentives. Kasi, one of our viewers, Mr. Eds Baloha, ang tinatanong niya po kasi is, may incentive po ba pag shinare yung Paymaya? What do you mean pag shinare? Kapag... I'm not really sure. Pero kasi Paymaya user daw siya. So, uh, hindi niya masyadong nasabi... Okay. Specifically. Okay, I think um Ed Ed tama po ba no? Hi Ed. Yes. How are you? So with Zay um, po Ed. <laughs> okay. Hi Ed. Yes. <laughs> with a Z. Okay. With Hi a Z. Ed. Um, I think when you say um kung ang tama ba yung understanding ko kapag shinare yung pay maya. Actually, if you get to invite someone, I know that there's a promo. I'm not sure right now as to um how much, but you can check our website at paymaya.com mm-hmm. for the current um, promos that are ongoing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, regarding pa rin po sa features, ma'am, um, Priyano Boracay, wow, ang ganda ng last name, Boracay is asking, Hello, can you explain about Paymaya virtual card and also kung credit card ba ang Paymaya card? Okay. Um. <clears throat> Hindi po ko kayo na-COVID, ha? Medyo na, ano lang, na lang muna ito. Opo, hindi po, hindi po. <laughs> Na-clarify ko na rin po kay ma'am kanina. <laughs> Na-joke na. <laughs> so, um, is Paymaya a credit card? That's the first question, correct? What's the next one? Yes po. The next one is, uh, kung credit card daw po ba ang, ma- ang Paymaya card? Oh, okay. So, virtual, uh, sorry. So, that's a virtual card. So, actually, mm-hmm. when you get to upgrade your account, Depende kung anong klase ng telco ang meron ka. Mm-hmm. You will either get a MasterCard or a Visa um, virtual card. It's mm-hmm. not a credit card. It's not linked to any account. So kung ano lang yung laman ng Paymaya mo or nilagay mo doon, yun yung balance mo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, okay, another feedback lang po ah, from a Paymaya user. Sabi niya, super useful to that we use Paymaya to claim SBWS without the hassle of opening a bank account. And um, hello then kay pangarap ng OFW. Tinatanong niya po pala, available po ba ang send money from overseas to Pinas? So thank you. Okay, available ba ang send money from overseas to Pinas? Paymaya user po ba siya right now? So if you're currently a Paymaya user, you can send um, from Paymaya to another Paymaya account. But mm-hmm. if you're not a Paymaya user, I, I I would suggest that you can, all, again, as I mentioned earlier, you can receive or send remittance coming from a Western Union going to a, going to a Paymaya account also. So if you would like to know more about how you would be able to send money, uh, just please visit our website. All of the details will be there. All right. So, sorry po, medyo na ano tayo dun sa mga questions para lang mabawasan kasi nahihirapan na kung pabalik pa sila. Masyadong madami. So, going back to the topic naman po, um, merong isang question na, can Globe or TM subscribers register for a Paymaya? Can, sorry, can you repeat that again, Jamie? Um, can Globe or TM subscribers po register for a Paymaya account? Yes, oo. Oo, actually, wala ka big discrimination dito. Alam mo, Paymaya is actually really big on financial... Ex- um, financial Walang bias ex- naman. Nakakatawa. Walang bias. Wala kaming dinidiscriminate. Everyone can actually mm-hmm. register. Which one of our good. goals... Yeah, so because one of our goals is really to equip every Filipino to thrive mm-hmm. in a digital economy, especially with our situation now where you get to see the shift from being cash-reliant to having a cashless economy. So we want as many Filipinos as possible to have a financial account. Mm-hmm. So how mm-hmm. will we do that, diba? So we did that by making Paymaya Telco agnostic. So whether you are Smart, Sun, TNT, or Touch Mobile, or Globe, you can definitely open a Paymaya account. 
Well, that's a good news for everyone, especially the Globe and TM subscribers. Kasi minsan, baka nagdadalawang isip silang gumamit ng Paymaya kasi baka for smart users lang. So, it's good. Hindi po, kami, hindi po sila bias. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yes. So now, ma'am, uh, meron naman ditong question. If wala silang Wi-Fi, what, what if I don't have Wi-Fi? or enough mobile data to install the Paymaya app on my phone. How can I sign up for a Paymaya account? Okay. How can you sign up kung walang Wi-Fi or walang mobile data? Sorry, ma'am. Um, Siguro ang start po muna natin, how can they sign up first? Then maybe discuss na natin yung kung paano sila magsa-sign up if walang um, internet connection. Sure, sige. So, kanina, I mentioned that it's actually really easy, you know, to open an account with um, Paymaya. So, all you need to do is to download the app. So, if you're an Android, uh, I think the store is Google Play um, or mm -hmm. uh, Huawei app, yeah. depending on the yeah. device mm -hmm. that you're using. If you're an iPhone user, it would be on the App Store. Tapos, pag na-download mo na siya, you register, you just provide the necessary information. And again, mm -hmm. uh, I'm stressing this that ensure to upgrade your account para mas maka-enjoy ka ng higher limit. So, kasi pag, pag um, starter account, it's only 50,000. Eh. So, not only that you can enjoy a higher limit, you can also facilitate um, more transactions gaya na nga ng pagpapadala ng pera, makakapag-withdraw ka, gamit yung physical card, kahit sa ano. Mm -hmm. So, for more information as to the step-by-step -step process, you can visit um, paymaya.com slash quick-guide. So all of the information as to how you can register for a Paymaya account, it, it's going to mm -hmm. be there. But to, again, yun na nga, uh, your question earlier is, paano kung walang Wi-Fi? Paano kung walang mobile data? So, logo <laughs> But again... <laughs> Pero may pang video call, no? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. Pero, yeah. alam mo, syempre, di ba, lahat naman ng mobile apps right now, kailangan talaga ng steady na internet yes. connection. Para ma-download, mm -hmm. mag na yung account. So, right now, um, kailangan mo talagang bumili ng data. And one way for us to help and make it more available, we've partnered with Telco such as Smart. Para makapag-avail mm -hmm. ka ng data package na, na included na yung allocation sa paggamit mo ng Paymaya. Oh, so, right. I think with Smart, mm -hmm. o oh, I think with Smart, it's called Giga Work. So, mas mura siya, tapos may allocated ka na for usage ng Paymaya, mas affordable siya para sa mga users namin. Okay, okay. Well, that's good po. Um, sa next question naman po, I think kuha muna tayo ng questions from the participants or the our viewers. So once again, hello sa ating mga nanonood ngayon. No? Actually, ang dami. Ah. New comments ng new comments. Padagdag kayo ng padagdag. Sige lang. Wala. Hindi naman po kami nagre-reklamo. So, um, okay. Um, a question from Ian Katipunan. Is Paymaya app compatible for all types of mobile phones? I believe other e-wallets like we're compatible with all types of phones. So as long as it's a smartphone and you can download the app, you will be able to use the app. Mm -hmm. And by the way, ma'am, I forgot to ask kasi meron, of course, typical Filipino, talagang natatakot sila sa security ng isang application, especially kung money-related na siya. So, paano right. po ba namin malalaman or bilang ako... natin malalaman na secured itong ginagamit na app natin nowadays? Okay. Um, maybe I can give you maybe a little bit of background of um, Paymaya. Paymaya is also an institution being regulated by the Banko Central ng Pilipinas. I think us being regulated by the BNP already yeah, provides yeah. so much security or um, a good level of comfort to make you feel that the app alone is already secured. But not only that, we've included features in the app such as you'll be mm -hmm. able to you'll be able to monitor all of your transactions. Meron kang mm -hmm. mga meron kaming mga SMS alerts so that each time mm -hmm. that you do something with the app, you get alerted by it. So you know that it's only oh, your transaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least, at least may is na ang mga tao ngayon kapag iniisip nila kung secured ba o hindi. So, thank you for answering that question, ma'am. So, um, going back, um, question po, can my fund on Pimaya be transferred to my bank account? 
Yes, actually you can. Um, again, I mentioned earlier that this is actually one of the features that we have. So you can mm-hmm. transfer mm-hmm. from your PayMy account to your bank account through the bank transfer feature. So pag pumunta ka dun sa app, yung interface niya, yung homepage niya, may makikita ka dun send money, tapos may button dun that's called bank transfer. So when mm-hmm. you click that, you can actually input already and look for the bank. So say for example, itong bank ko na to, ito yung account ko, gusto kong transfer, and just easy put the amount and then the account number. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just make sure lang that, just make sure then also that the that the receiving bank or yung pagpapadalhan mo na bank is also an Instapay member. So currently, mm-hmm. Yung, yung bank transfer namin is libre. Ah, oh, good! Sige po. That's good, ha? Libre. Lahat ng tao gusto po ang libre. <laughs> okay. Alright. Thank you for that, ma'am. Um, next question po. Are there any restrictions when it comes to area? Like, is there any place in the Philippines where I'm not allowed to use Paymaya? You can use Paymaya anywhere you are in the country. So, yes. kasi nga, di ba? Oh, di ba? Kung, kung, kung walang smart, may, may ibang network doon. And yes, you can actually, yes. You know, wherever you are in the country, you can actually register. And register with Very people. convenient. Wow. That's great news. Sige po. Next question naman, ma'am, is from Ian Katipunan once again. Is there a possibility that all transactions in the future will become cashless? I'm thinking of how will the government implement it. One, public transport like jeepneys and buses. Number two, public markets and sari-sari store, etc. As this might become our new normal. Actually, he's right. There, we're kind of like leading towards to that. So I don't think it's impossible or I don't think it's never going to happen that that the, the entire ecosystem or the entire day-to-day um, day-to-day activities natin as far as financial transactions are concerned will become digital. That's actually the dream, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. As, as, to, as far as Paymaya is, um, is, is, is included in this, um, in this type of digitization of payments, uh, we're currently working on, on, on getting onboarded. Kasi nga, di ba, we partner with the government. So, mm-hmm. so, some of the some of the work that we're currently seeing right now has to do something with that. So right now, um, what I can tell you right now is just to um, how do I say this? Parang right now, what I can tell you is that we can expect more from Paymaya. There will be more partnerships, and mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. soon enough, baka magulat ka na lang anjan na yung mga sinat mini mention niya, the jeepneys, the mm-hmm. tricycles. Mm-hmm. Actually, the hoping for that. Are, hoping for that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, for the tricycles right now, Jamie. You know, um, mm-hmm. my mom is actually from Kabanatuan, and then she sent me a text message, a, a, a message actually with a picture that picture that there is a QR, a Paymaya QR inside that tricycle. First time yung try. So nagwuna mm-hmm. siya. So it's actually currently happening um, right now that there are there are transportation that have already been onboarded for for mm-hmm. ecosystem. Again, I've mentioned mm-hmm. that. Our QR is one of the fastest way to onboard or put our parang um, business owners, negotiantes, like yan kagaya niyan, mga nagta-tricycle, into a very formal financial setting because it's easy to be onboarded in our QR. So mm-hmm. as far mm-hmm. as the scale of it is concerned, um, ano na lang, parang let's watch out for it because I'm sure there's going to be more from Paymaya. Mm-hmm. Ako ma'am, it's very interesting to know that even tricycle drivers talagang gumagamit na rin ng Paymaya. But kasi some some people talaga, like ako, for example, personally po, huwag po kayong magagalit sa akin. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pa kasi po matang gumagamit ng e-wallet. Like kapag merong form of payment na gagam- gagamitan as e-wallet, parang, parang, parang para sa akin, medyo nahahaselan ako. So, but right now that I'm... I'm um, listening to this and you're discussing this. Nauunawaan ko na siya how convenient, especially yung, yung nangyayari ngayon. So how can we ask or how can we um, explain this to our kababayans na, na medyo alanganin pa when it comes to, parang ayaw pang sumabay sa technology, sa, sa, sa pag-grow ng technologies. How can we, ano po yun? Paano po natin sila ma, uh, masasabihan na, yeah, makakourage na gamitan ang, ang e-wallet? Okay. Um, okay. 
Si, kasi ano, alam mo, behavioral kasi yan. Alam mo yung mga, mm-hmm. yung tayo kasi, nasanay kasi tayo. Alam mo ba, Jamie, na parang currently the payments in the country that is still, it's still a heavy, a cash heavy payment. Ma- ma- mataas pa rin yung cash natin. Kaya lang, I think this, mm-hmm. the, the pandemic, the pandemic has also parang caused us to to move from being yeah. a cash relax society to cashless. Yeah. So I think mm-hmm. this alone, this alone already gives, you know, encouragement and more reason for for Filipinos to embrace uh-huh. the, the uh-huh. digital the digitalization of payments. So uh-huh. um, it may require pa siguro parang mga counting steps how to ganyan but because again we've have we have made it easy for for one person to actually on board or get a uh-huh. pay account and register um it does not intimidate them to kind of like kasi pag halimbawa minsan mag-open ka ng account dami kailangan and dami hinihingi uh-uh. with uh-uh. us uh-uh. it's just easy as downloading registering submitting an id just to get upgraded and it's easy like that so uh-huh. there's uh-huh. there's no, parang we lessen the 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 feeling of have you know kind of like intimidating someone Mm-mm. who wants to have a financial account or parang would like to stick with ano would like to stick with just cash. Mm-hmm. Okay, but um a question po from Magal and Clote is there a possibility na pweding makapag in cash sa Paymaya? Yes. So actually, so say for example, um, there are two ways for you to end cash. Kung may Paymaya account ka, tas nakatanggap ka ng, ng pera sa Paymaya account mo, um, pwede kang mag-avail ng physical na card. So pag nag-avail ka ng physical na card, itong card na to, uh, ililink mo lang siya doon sa wallet mo. And yung card mm-hmm. din na yon, pwede mong gamitin para makapag-withdraw ka sa lahat ng AT- any type of ATM dito sa mm-hmm. bansa natin. That's one. Another would be, of course, para being able to send a pa- to a padala agent. Again, I mentioned, mm-hmm. like, say, for example, kung ikaw magpapadala ka sa isang kamag-anak mo na nasa probinsya and <clears throat> and they want to encash it, you can send it to the nearest padala agent, and mm-hmm. from there they will be able to encash it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good, po. Um, we have another um payment, uh, sorry, pay Maya user here. Ang sabi niya. Um, very useful talaga. This is actually Melissa Jane Montalban Padilla. Very useful talaga. No need na lumabas para magpadala sa family. Also, meron na dito akong small loading business. Paload na kayo. Actually, nag-promote lang po <laughs> ng loading business. <laughs> so, well, good for you. Good for you, Melissa. Okay. Um, next is question po is from... John Meller Martinez. To register, is it open for international mobile number? Currently, no, unfortunately, right now, it's not. So, um, mm-hmm. it's something that we're, we're looking into. Of course, um, we want to be able to equip all Filipinos wherever in the mm-hmm. world they are. Um, mm-hmm. So, as far as the international numbers are concerned right now, unfortunately, Paymaya is still available just for domestic numbers. But, of course, okay. we'll let you know whenever that happens. Of course, we also want that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, ito naman po. Um, okay, guys, please comment lang ha. Comment lang kayo ng mga questions nyo. Kasi there's someone from Pimaya ata na nag-answer na ng mga inquiries nila. Which is good. Thank you so much for that. Um, <laughs> the, the support team of Miss J. Okay. Um, from Spencer Romana, this is an interesting topic. Po. Yes, that's true. That's why you should share this video para malaman din ng iba how important the, the, the e-wallet right now, and especially with the coronavirus pandemic. Okay, next question naman po is, can we still upgrade our accounts during the ECQ? Yes. Actually, if you already have registered, um, yun nga yung beauty nga namin eh. Kasi kahit na naka-ECQ ka na, so right now with you, you know, the normal financial transaction would you would be required to go to a branch. Mm-hmm. Eh, paano kung sarado yung branch? Kasi nga, limited yung operational hours, di ba? With Pima, mm-hmm. you don't have to leave the house even. So, with, mm-hmm. even with the ECQ happening, it's 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 actually not um not even parang an issue anymore because all you need to do mm-hmm. is to have to be on your smartphone and if you want to upgrade, you can do so anytime, anywhere. It's that convenient. 
Okay. Ay, well, ayun naman po ang gusto nating lahat. Convenience, di ba? So, yes. thank you, Paymaya, for, for providing that. Okay. Um, question naman po. Okay. This is more on general. You can say anything you want from, <laughs> from this question. So, what it is in store for me if I begin using Paymaya? What is in store for you? Nako, ang dami. <laughs> so, again. Sige, ma'am. Um, pwede nating sabihin isa-isa. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, so again, I've mentioned this many, many times in the in the course of the webinar. But Paymaya is actually the easiest and the fastest way for you to get a financial account right now. So we continue to add more relevant features every day. So actually, so as we move to the next normal, no, when the pan whole pandemic is over, having a financial account will actually able you to transact with other users, transact mm -hmm. with more merchants, transact with the government. So, so that actually will become an important, ano eh, an important part now of of everyone's day to day life, de ba? So mm -hmm, what's more mm -hmm. is that our users can expect more in the coming months. Again, I've mentioned earlier, we will be having more merchants, more government partners, so that you will be able to sell, settle your dues and your obligations. Mm -hmm. yung mga mm -hmm. sa gobyerno. Um, more ways to receive remittances from here and also from abroad and more ways to send money to other people in the Philippines, mm -hmm. which will actually... Um, so, syempre, transa ka ng transa. Gusto din namin na yung features din namin will also allow you to monitor yung mga finances mo kasi yun naman talaga eh. That's where you get to experience better financial mm -hmm. control. You get to do a lot of transactions, but you get to also monitor and track. So... So with all of these things, we also get to bring you more rewards that actually bring you more value for how you're spending. Since you've mentioned, ma'am, yung mga rewards, can you give us a uh, parang sample ng mga rewards na binibigay ni Paymaya sa kanilang mga users? Currently, um, one of our ongoing um, parang reward is that when you use your, your Paymaya to transact, um, either you get one ten percent or may cashback kang matatanggap. So every time that you mm -hmm. use it to pay, may natatanggap ka na parang rebate. Yun yung reward. So it's kind of like mm -hmm. instant mm -hmm. saving. So for more of the promos that um that we have, you can check out the app or you can check out our website at paymaya.com. All right, thank you for that, Pam. So another payment you uh, payment Paymaya user um from uh Morris Agudo. Been using Paymaya as my primary for a while now, po. There's a reason for it. So easy to use. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing this rolled out in the countryside more. QR payment would be perfect for vendors, which is really true. And I really agree with that. So um, next question naman po is from... Nalilito na ako. Ang dami nila. Wait lang po. <laughs> uh, Saan daw po makakakuha ng card? That's that's what I've... Yeah, where to buy the physical card? Where to buy the physical card? You can actually visit our website and order from there. So because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. the, um, so you can order there and then it will be delivered to you because this is, of course, an instrument. So it has to be delivered directly to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yep. Yep, that's good, that's good. Um, next question, actually, lahat po kasi dag, nata, nasagot na ng iyong team. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is very good. <laughs> kasi, di ba, hindi na natin need iisa-isa Um Next question, sorry po, merong nagbigay sa akin, ang aking team din, di ba? <laughs> Sabi po niya, I hope there's a comeback of the balik bayad on bills payment for the month of May since last month. The deal was not in effect. Oh, okay. Maybe we can look into that as to when we will be able to bring back the balik bayad um, when you pay your bills. Mm -hmm. um, so watch out. Uh, if if balik it comes bayad, out, like, pay me. Um, balik bayad is when you, when you pay something and then you get to receive cash um, cash value in return. So, like, mm -hmm. for example, bayad ako ng bill ko, minimum of this amount, mm -hmm. may matatanggap akong amount pabalik. So, kung halimbawa mm -hmm. na magkaroon ulit kami ng promos like that, sasabihan ko agad si Jamie, ka-work mo, di ba? Yes. So, itatag mo si Jamie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, thank you for that, ma'am. Baka gawin ko rin yun. So, <laughs> diba? Why not? Okay, so, they're very, ano po ah, when it comes to rebates, sobrang ano nila, can you tell us kung ano po yung rebates na makukuha? Or, an, paano po ba nag-work yung rebates sa, sa, sa Paymaya? So actually, very recent experience. Ano, when I, I actually went to um, went grocery. So ito na nga, de ba? So iniiwasan nga natin lumabas. So nung nag grocery ako, ang pinambayad ko is yung paymay ako. So nung pagbayad ko, pag scan ko ng QR kasi nga social distancing, ayoko rin nag-aabot ng cash. Bayad ako using my QR. So the minute na I set the payment or I, I scanned and pay, uh, I also received like um, a text message saying a cashback. So yun yung mm-hmm. yun yung cashback na I think you're trying to mention that you get to receive instant rewards, instant rebates. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're very excited about the cashbacks and the mga promos. So oh. siguro ang pima yung maraming binibigay. Parang gusto ko na talaga gumamit later, <laughs> later na talaga. <laughs> Kasi yeah yeah yeah. So alam mo Jamie, actually on a very normal day, uh, hindi na nga ako mm-hmm. minsan nagdadala ng wallet. Eh. I mean dinadala ko na lang siya kasi kailangan ko ng ID, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. for all of my transactions for the minute i step out of the house it's it's my phone it's my phone it's my phone because mm-hmm. because even the payments that i make it's it's in paymaya already and it's such a convenient thing to do so yun na nga parang parang it 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 lessens the um the risk of being able to hand uh carry yung actual mm-hmm. na cash diba so lahat na sa phone mo lahat ng gastusin mo mm-hmm. naka monitor so it's very mm-hmm, efficient mm-hmm becoming a part of my daily life already. And even right now na it's ECQ, lalo na. Yes, lalo ng ECQ. <laughs> okay, so meron pong another question if if it's okay with you to answer. Um, ato, from Daryl Bankil, how OFW can can maximize it po? Usually we remit monthly through major bank. Okay, how can an OFW um maximize, maximize it the utilities okay um magandang gabi or magandang araw po kung nasaan po kayo ngayon sana kayo po ay ligtas um as far as maximizing the use of this one uh and being able to transfer to 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 a pay my account actually we have um partnerships with um remitly and western union so if you want to send back to your family here in the Philippines, they can easily open a PayMaya account. Yung mga beneficiary po ninyo, yung mga mahal po ninyo na pinapadalhan po ninyo dito, madali lang po silang makakapag-open ng account sa PayMaya. Uh, so kapag yung, yung partnership na meron po kami allows you to, to send from a Western Union or from a Remitly going to a PayMaya account, ganun lang po siya kadali. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Well, from Marvin Santos naman po, ang sabi naman niya, I started using Paymaya nung nakita ko commercial ni Katniel. <laughs> ang cute naman nun. Hintayin niyo po yung commercial ko. Joke, 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 joke. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, sige po. Ito naman po, last question na lang din since wala naman ng new questions. Guys, if may mga questions kayo, feel free to comment it. Pero mukhang wala na. Pero the last question na lang, ma'am, ito naman is... Your will naman po to answer. <laughs> I mean, depende na po sa inyo. Um, compared to other e-wallet apps, why Paymaya? Why Paymaya? Because basically, we offer you solutions that is really intended for for making your life con- uh, making your life easier. So mm-hmm. again, I mentioned earlier, de ba that that how we do things. It's it, it, it makes it convenient for, for a person to make payment, receive money, being able to send money. And we're not, mm-hmm, just, mm-hmm. we're not just targeting the consumer. We want to create a digitized ecosystem. So, hindi mm-hmm. lang basta consumer. We also enable your, um, your negotiante, your business owner. So, when you go to, to purchase, like say, for example, the, the example that I used earlier would be paying for my groceries. Diba? Isn't it more convenient that you just get to use your phone? And I think that's one of the the things that you know that that makes us kind of like you know a little bit up there compared with the yeah. other one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Okay, that's good, ma'am. Sige, eto, is it okay po if we answer last question na lang? Last na lang po, sorry. Okay, this is from Kevin Kappa. Based on your current and historic data in Paymaya, how are you going to forecast e-wallet situation in the country in the next few years? In the next few years. Okay, so the usage of e-wallet, I think right now after this pandemic, it's going to be increased. It's going to increase mm. kasi people get to realize the importance of um the importance of an e-wall or importance of having a financial account right now um that mm -hmm. there is a pandemic and with the whole ECQ so the new normal will kind of like push us to to um to embrace the the digital the digital world already so um within the next few months and the next couple of years i think it's going to be a very significant, ano, a significant change towards to the use of that and embracing that. Okay, thank you for that, ma'am. So I think that's it. I think we have we don't have any questions na yung iba kasi nasagot na po ng inyong team. And <laughs> according to according to me, Marvin Santos, pay Maya kasi is Filipino made. So, sakto sa needs ng Pinoy. So, I really agree with that. So, actually, talaga ma'am, nag magi install la ako ng pay Maya ngayon. <laughs> Ang convenience, nakakatawa. So, yeah, I think that's it. Um, We are done na for the interview. Maybe, ma'am, we can give na lang an advice to our TGFI, to our um, to our viewers. Why do we need the e-wallet and why should we start using it? Especially the coronavirus pandemic is happening. Okay. So, um, maraming salamat mga ka-TGFI for tuning with us. Um, just to uh, kind of like wrap things up um, before we get to end the, the session. Um, we encourage you to have we encourage you to open up a Maya account because it's the easiest and the fastest and the most convenient way for 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 you to have a financial account. So so if you're currently uncarded, if you're currently unbanked, um Paymaya is the one way to have you included in a very formal setting. Not formal financial setting. So not only that that you are going to be included in a fina formal financial setting with the pandemic that's currently happening, the virus being out there. Um, mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. this is one way for you to be protected because you won't have to go outside and go to, to, to a physical place just to have a financial account. So the minute that you step outside is already a minute that you're, that you're exposed to the virus. And having mm -hmm. the capability of, being able to transact, making or facilitating various transactions at the comfort mm -hmm. of your own home gives you more comfort and feel at peace na hindi ka, hindi ka, hindi ka na, parang what they call this, you're not being exposed to the virus. So, so not just that. So even after, even after the, the whole pandemic and the ACQ happening, um, you will still be able to experience your convenience. And this is going to be the new normal already. Well, thank you for that, ma'am. Thank you so much for for the knowledge and the idea having an e-wallet. No? And thank you, Paymaya, also the team that supported <laughs> the comment section. Maraming maraming salamat po. So I think there you have it. If you have questions, ma'am, maybe you can promote or you can ask, I mean, if they have any questions, saan po nila kayo marireach? Alright. So if you guys, if you have questions, mga ka if you have questions, just email us at inquiry at um, paymaya.com. Or you can also visit our Facebook page, uh, meron naman yung parang mga, um, what do you call this? You can message our Facebook page. So just go to Paymaya in Facebook. So you can reach us from there. All right. Thank you so much, Miss J, for this uh, interview. Marami po ako natutunan. Ako personally, marami ako natutunan. And of, of course, I think naman, marami ding natutunan ng ating mga ka-TGFI. I'm very excited for this, ano, for this, um, uh, modern form of payment because um inconvenient and super easy to use so once again thank you so much uh miss j for being here with us tonight and stay thank safe po. stay safe and stay healthy thank you ma'am thank you too thank you tgfi family
I thank you, Ma Kati GFI, for for um for watching this uh for this Facebook Live. Don't forget to share this video and also like our Facebook page as well as Pinay's Facebook page. And muli pong mag-iingat. Maraming salamat. Magandang hapon. Magandang umaga. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Kati GFI. This is Jamie and bye bye. Thank you.